Hello everybody. In, in this video, uh, we're going to show you how uh, you create a menu items uh, on a graphical user interface like what we've got there. Uh, like when you click on file, it gives you open and exit and we have a text area, you can see it. We've got a panel and uh, if I click on open a file, it, give, it should give me uh, this way. All of that, we're going to do it in this uh, video, which probably is going to be split to more than uh, one uh, session. Uh, and of course, when I close or exit the program, uh, we're going to show how you get actually a message. Uh, it asks you to confirm that you want to exit uh, the, the program. All right. I uh, haven't done that, then we're gonna they can start actually uh, on writing the uh, the the code in here. Right, so the whole idea is uh, is to uh, draw uh, something like like that. Mind my my uh, drawing is not that perfect, so I'll uh, I'll use the blue color here first. Uh, uh, if I draw something like that. Uh, so we've got something like this and here uh, as we've seen in the class we've got uh, students ID here then here's the you put the ID then the name uh, and you put text message as well and you've got a button here it says add here it says add in here so you add actually <coughs> something in here uh, as well <coughs> we've got text text area here yeah? we're going to create text area that text area is going to sit here and it's got, of course got scroll bars on both sides in here and on the top of that in this demo what we're going to do uh, we're going to add uh, some menu items as well uh, in here so say for instance uh, file file here help and underneath them we can find like sub items as well so first of all we're going to design this part and then <coughs> uh, then we see the functionality of all of them uh, in order keep that in mind we can use the border layout uh, and what we can do we can create a panel that panel uh, call it panel 1 or P whatever and you need to add all these elements to this ones so we're gonna have we're gonna have a, a label here a text field label text field and a button this button says add this text fields name this the panel the label here says name as well and uh, this is students ID here and students ID for text and of course this is text area so if I have in here if I use uh, say I use the border layout so all I can say uh, I'm sorry about that let me just the yeah, border layout in here uh, so I've got the panel for instance and I add it up north so I add it here so it comes in here and as for this one text area text area I can put it and I say put it in the center so of course there's no south uh, east and west together so it's going to take the whole of the area in here and then we're going to create in here, right, the panels, you can scroll bar, both in here, you can add it to the text field. Let's start the writing the program. So, remember, we're going to put, we're going to create a panel here, panel, and I add all these to the panel. Then I'm going to create text, field, text area, and I'm going to put that into the text area. Uh, and then uh, I've got file, and I would open and exit as you've seen it uh, previously. Uh, and and so on. Let's start on uh, this and see how we can do we can do that. Probably this video is going to split too many because I don't want to make it as very long video. Uh, but we split it as uh, to different mile milestones. Uh, all right. Let's start first by creating a class, and we call the class uh, students. For instance, students list or student list, students list, students list, 
uh, student list, right? Uh, GUI in here. Uh, if you notice here, because I've got so many projects in here, so it's asking actually what's the source folder. You can go here and say I want it to be in this project, and you have to say where's the source. Uh, it's okay, there it is. So I can uh, click on finish, uh, and I'm there. Right, so that's that's been created uh, for us. Remember, because this is a graphical user interface, remember just import. Right, to save time for diagnosing, imported the imported the import Java X swing. It's taking its, take its time. Java X swings. Why is not giving me this? Come on, go. Go here. There you go, and this is given in here. It says right, never used. Of course, never used. Uh, a bit surprised why it's not picking this up. Uh, should should pick this up actually uh, straight straight away. Uh, and then we're gonna import the second one. We're gonna import import Java. There you go. AWT. There it is. Abstract window tools, that's what it stands for. And then we're going to ask for the events. Remember, import Java AWT events. Events, here it is. Here we go. All right. And now, remember, with this extends. This J frame, and we have the yeah. And remember, you need to start with this. Just copy this one, and I'll say it's public. And this is my constructor. Let's take any things. Edit it. Right. So create this one. The second thing you need to do, remember, create main. Right. And for the main, uh, we say it's just a standard in here. <coughs> and because of that standard part, all you're going to do here, I'm going to say, I'm just going to copy it from here, uh, any one from these ones. Uh, let me go this one, for instance. And I'm just going to take the out here. Uh, this one, you can take the code because of course it's just fixed in here. There it is. I'm going to just copy it and come back in here. There it is. And I can say this. All right. Uh, of course, because this is student list here, a GUI here, replace with this one. There you go. V frame. And there we go. And uh, that should sort it. And of course, I need to change the title. And the title I'm going to say uh, it's called Reading. <coughs> From uh, all right, reading reading data from uh, file. There it is. Uh, and because let me change this one. You can change this as we run the program, so you can you can make sure uh, that's uh, more uh, appropriate. Uh, I've done this before, and I think it was seven hundred. So uh, we'll keep it as seven hundred, and this one. Uh, 300. If it doesn't, we can, we can change it as we go. I know. And here, remember, uh, we need to create a panel. So, all I'm gonna say in here straight away create a panel straight just to make sure. So, I can say private uh, J panel and I call it for instance panel and it is uh, equal a new. Uh, J panel, and it is, and of course, here we go. We sorted. This is the panel. Uh, now I need to create. I've got students ID, and I've got uh, students ID as a text field, and I've got label as a student's name, and uh, text field as a student name, and I've got a button is called add. 
uh, let's create uh, all all of these. Uh, right, private uh, JPEN uh, J label, and I'm going to call it, for instance, uh, uh, ID equal new uh, J label, and I can say, for instance, uh, in here I would say that's it. The name was what we're going to type here student ID heritage. Right. Uh, the other label uh, for the name. So we can say the uh, same things. I can copy it if I want. Copy this one. Copy it here. And then I can come here. Uh, it is, and I'll just change from ID. I can change this is called name. <coughs> and of course, this is in here. I can say this is of the label name. Uh, of course, then I need two text fields, one for the student's ID and one for the, the name. Uh, for the ID, uh, let me change this one so the names will be nice in here. So I'll call it LBL ID, there it is. And this one, here, yeah, LBL name. So it'll be nice to know actually how you do that. Uh, all right, for the text fields as well, private, uh, and of course, they got J text uh, field and say txt for instance id. Uh, it is equal new uh, text field J text field. Uh, it is and uh, say how many how many do you want in here? Uh, I want to say just twenty characters, just you know, the full the full name there. Uh, the same things. Uh, that's text txt id. Let me just, just copy it. Copy it here. Come on, Z. And here it is. And I'm going to say this one text txt. That's for the name. Uh, so that's name. And I've got set 20 as well. So I've got two labels, uh, two text fields. And of course, the last one is I need to create a button. So private uh, j button. And I've called it called PTN add a call new J button. And you want to see what that appears on that. Of course, you're gonna say add. There we go. So that's that's been created here. And I'm gonna create something called text area. There it is for text area. There it is. Uh, I'm gonna write here create a text area and here. Uh, all I'm going to say, of course, private J text area. And it is. And I'm going to call it, for instance, a look at that text, small area. Sorry about that. Right, equal to new uh, J text area. There you go. And you have to say how many rows and how many columns. So I say 10. And give me 50 X and Y if we can see it pixels uh, and we've done this this part in here right what we're gonna do now I'm gonna create uh, the GUI remember I've got a panel here I've got a panel here has a panel be created all I'm gonna do I'm gonna add these into the panel right into the panel so first and I add the panel to the frame that's right don't add these to the frame add the panel to the frame but add these to the panel first then parallel to the the frame that's what we're gonna what we're gonna do uh, in here <coughs> so what do you say panel that's panel that's what you create you create this one right can you see it you create this one panel dot add and it is you want to add what you want to add the names in here make sure the one goes on the left the ones go on the left right left right to the end of the left you have to put it here so label id is the first ones to go in and here and of course if i uh, let me say this one for instance and i would say let's see label id here and it is and i close it there you go then i would add after it i'm going to say panel dot add 
Let me see if that is going to give me, and I've got to say label, give me name. Uh, sorry, that's not a label name. I don't want label name. That's going to be, I uh, do apologize. That should be in here, the student's ID. So let's give me student's ID. Oops. Panel dot add. There you go. Uh, we're going to add this label. There's not a label there. Text ID, txt ID. There it is. Uh, or I can put it in here straight away. Txt ID. There it is. So, it's, so the first put label, then text ID is going to push it to the left. Then after that, I'm going to say panel dot add uh, in here. Of course, I'm going to say label name. I go to the label first, and then I text with left out. And then I can say panel dot add. There it is. Put this in here, and I'm going to say give me the name text name txt name in here. There we go. And then I'm going to say panel. I'm going to add to it the, the add button here. There it is, and it should be somewhere in, in here. The add one. So I add all of these to the panel now. I can add the panel to the frame. So because frame, we can tell the online the frame is, is of border layout. South, north, east, west, and so on. So I'm going to put it up north. So all we can say, we can say in here, add, there you go, panel, comma. Where do you want it? You have to say, use border. Sorry here. Layout. There it is. And give me that north. There you go. North. There's north. So I put actually the panel now up north. And inside the panel, I've got all of these in here. Now I've got the text field, text area, in here. So I can add, look at that. Uh, I'm going to say now add text area to the frame uh, and here what I'm going to say here just uh, say add objects to the panel okay that's here uh, and then I say add the panel to the frame Using, of course, border layout. You can see it here. And I'm going to do the same things. I'm going to add the area. And what we say is it's going to go down with it south. So I can say add. Remember, the name is text area. Here it is. Add text area, comma, border layout. There you go. Put center. Right here, center. There you go. Right, here we go. Now, <clears throat> what I need to do, let's run the program first. There you go. Hopefully, it's going to give us results now. Here it is. Can you see? That's actually the LBL ID label for the ID, and that's the text field for TXT ID. Here it is. This one is student's name, and it is student's name is for the label name. And of course, this here, if you look in here, uh, I missed on the cloud. Where's the buttons here? Yeah. It has the buttons. So, all right. So, it was like that here. <clears throat> if you notice, that's text field. And here, when I add it to the panel, can you see it? Text field to the, to the panel here. Uh, look, then add the buttons here. So what we've seen here, reality, look, the, the buttons appears here. So which means I have to increase, increase this here. Then make it 800. 800 now, all right? Uh, and see if that's going to give us the, we can see the button there. Right, here we can see it. Here it is, it appears here. When I click on it, it's nothing happened because there's nothing behind it. Here, this is the text area. That's the text area we've done here. Text area, put in the center. So I create text area, if you notice here. Here it is. 
as text area uh, and of course go to this area and here where is it oops get rid of this sorry for that oh uh, sorry get this one minimize this one all uh, right and uh, let's stop this in here so when we run this look in here where is it it's here this is text area i can type on it right and uh, then i go here enter and nothing happens what we need to do when we click on something and goes beyond it we need to actually give us scroll bar this part in here scroll bar in here and if i go that way uh, then give me scroll bar this way how can i do that very simple you need to add a scroll bar in this here the statement is very simple you come here uh, after you add the text area all you say here it is i'm gonna say it here uh, i'm gonna say add a scroll bar to the text area here it is all we're gonna do uh, we're gonna say add because that's add there it is and i say a new j scroll pane is called scroll pane there it is uh, and of course to where to where do you want it so we've got we know it's called text area can you see it text area text area stops in here All right uh, hopefully so that's the add add new j scroll pane right j scroll pane yes double l i do apologize double l there it is all right so if i run this now there it is and say for instance i typed all this hello hello right something like that again you see in here that's that appears here if i go this way there you go for instance i type anything and this can you see it appears in here right i'll stop here because people actually start coming and uh, this this end thank you